Welcome back to 2 for 2 Math. I am your host, Raphael Thompson. And today we're looking at decimal places and significant figures for grades 8 and 9. Here we go. Decimal places first. Round to one decimal place, 0 0.26. You underline the 2 because that's one digit after the decimal place. The 6 at the back, you look at it to see if you have to change the 2 or not. Since it's a 6, once it's 5 or more, you add a 1 to it, so it becomes 0 0.3. Final answer. Round to two decimal places, 12.5839. Underline the 8 because that's two digits after the decimal point. Look at the 3 in the back of it. Do you have to change it? No. Once it's less than 5, you don't have to change the number. So it becomes 12.58 because there's a three after the eight. So that's your answer to two decimal places. You want two numbers after the point. Now, round to three decimal places. That means you want to look at three digits after the point. So it's 12.5699. Underline the third digit after the point, which is a nine. Look at the back of it, there is a nine. What do you have to do? Yeah, you have to add a one to that number to that digit because it's five or more after it and there I did it for you 12.569 plus 1 you get 12.570 or 69 plus 1 is 70 so your answer is 12.570 to three decimal places that is what that number should be now significant figures don't get confused with these Decimal places are easy to remember because it says decimal places. Significant figures, you're looking at the digits. And round to one significant figure, 0 0.26. 0 at the front is not significant. So you look at the 2. That's the first digit. So the answer is 0 0.3 because there's a 6 after the 2. So you add a 1 to the 2, making it 0 0.3. Round to two significant figures, 12.5839. So you're looking at the first two digits, 1 and 2. There is a 5 after the 2, so that you add a 1 to the 2 makes, makes it a 3, so the answer is 13. So remember, you're only looking at the digits that are significant for significant figures. Round to 3 significant figures, 10.9699. Now that 0 in the middle is significant, so you count, you count it. So it's 1, the 0, and the 9. At the back of the 9 is a 6, so you have to add a 1 to 10.9. It becomes 11.0. So three, three significant figures, that answer would be 11.0. Question one. These are typical questions you would encounter on exams. Please use your calculators. Find the sum of those two numbers. You need to know what sum means before you can round it or to decimal places or significant figures. Find the product of those two numbers. You need to know what product means. Use your calculator, work it out, then round it to one decimal place, and then round it to two significant figures. Question three, subtract 3.409 from 9.46. Do the subtraction, round your answer to one decimal place, then round it to three significant figures. These are all typical exam questions. Question four, divide 1.34175 by 2.5. Please use your calculator, round your answer to two decimal places, round your answer to three significant figures. And question five, 14.6 times 8.01 on top, and you divide that by 0 0.15. Round your answer to one decimal place. Round your answer to three significant figures. So it's not straightforward for exam questions. Question six, round these numbers to one decimal place. So underline the digit you may have to change. Just do that first, and then it shows you understand the first step. So just underline the digit you are looking at to change or not. Question six. Question seven, round these numbers to one significant figure. Now, remember zero at the front is not significant, zero in the middle is. So underline the digit that you would have to look at to see if you need to change it or not. Remember these are the one significant figure. And question eight, round these numbers to two decimal places. Again, look at the digit two numbers after the point is two decimal places so underline the digit you need to look at to see if you need to change it or not then look at the number at the back but underline it first we'd get to the answers afterwards question 
nine, round these numbers to two significant figures. Remember, zero at the front is not significant. Zero in the middle is. So underline the digit that you would have to look at to see if you need to change it or not for two significant figures for question nine. And question 10, round these numbers to three decimal places. So remember that's three numbers after the point and you have A and B, and then round these numbers to three significant figures. Significant figures meaning you want to look at the three digits at the front, three digits first. Remember, zero in the middle is significant. Okay, answers, here we go. Question one, find the sum of those two numbers. You add them up, of course, and you get 27.359, round that to two decimal places. So underline the five, there's a nine at the back, do you have to change it? Yes, you add a 1, 27.36. Now, let's change that to three significant figures. So you're looking at the 2, 7, and 3. You add a 27.4, uh, because you have to add a 1 to the 3. Product of 3.48 and 0 0.9, you multiply, you get 3.132. To one decimal place, it becomes 3.1, because there's a 3 after the 1, so you don't change it. To two significant figures, you're looking at the 3 and the 1, so it still stays at 3.1. Subtract 3.409 from 9.46, round your answers to one decimal place, so it's 6.051. That's what you're rounding to one decimal place, so there's a zero after that, so you have to make that a one, add a one to it, 6.1. And the two significant figures, looking at six, zero, and the five, there's a one after the five, so you leave it, 6.05. Divide those two numbers, use a calculator, you would get, 0 0.5367, round that to two decimal places, so you underline the three, two numbers after the point, and you have to change that to 0 0.54. To three significant figures, you don't worry about the zero, look at the 536, and you have to make that 537 because there's a seven at the back of the six. Multiply the two numbers on the top and then divide by 0 0.15, multiply them, you get 116.946 divided by 15, and you get 779.647 and one decimal place 779.6 because there's a four at the back the three significant figures it becomes 780 a data one to the 79. Question number six round these numbers to one decimal place so the answers would be for a 0 0.5 b is 3.8 c is 13.0 and d is 1.1 that's question six done question seven a would be 0 0.5, B is 4, C is 10, and D is 1. Question 8, A is 0 0.45, B is 3.84, C is 12.95, and D is 1.05. Question number 9, A is 0 0.45, B is 3.8, C is 13 and D is 1.1. Question number 10. A, three decimal places. A is 2.000, B is 11.000, and then significant figures. A is 13.0 and B is 1.10. That's it. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one. That's a wrap.